G.I. Joe, G.I. Joe. He is to good friends. Hi, I'm Raphael Murphy. He likes it. Hey, Mikey. everyone, and welcome to the History of Television Commercials. I'm Ernie Martin, and today we're taking a look at McDonald's iconic and award-winning commercial, You Deserve a Break Today. McDonald's is the world's largest fast food restaurant with more than 37,000 locations in 120 countries, with revenue of $22 billion, placing it at number 131 on the Fortune 500 list. But this commercial was created and aired during a special time in the company's history. McDonald's had just expanded beyond 1,000 locations to become a truly national restaurant chain, and it was beginning to open locations in other countries like Canada, Japan, and Australia. But You Deserve a Break Today was not McDonald's first national commercial. And as good as their other commercials were, the You Deserve a Break Today commercial was the catalyst that helped usher in McDonald's as a truly national and global brand. But before we go on, let's go back to the beginning. McDonald's. Care for a little tour? No, not there. Let's go back even further. The true origins of McDonald's can be traced back to 1940 when Richard and Maurice McDonald opened their first restaurant in San Bernardino, California. This establishment was actually named McDonald's Famous Barbecue because they served, you guessed it, barbecue. Now, after a while, the brothers realized they could make more money by focusing on hamburgers, so they renovated their place and opened the original McDonald's restaurant in 1948. By 1954, they caught the attention of Ray Kroc, at the time a salesman of multi-mixers. Intending to only sell multi-mixers to the McDonald's brothers at the time, Kroc was so impressed with the concept that he soon offered to help them franchise. That deal led to the creation of the company's first modern franchise location in Illinois in 1955. And by 1961, Kroc owned the exclusive rights to McDonald's. This new McDonald's grew rapidly through the 1960s, and by the early 70s, the company was firmly rooted as a national chain and would need a national advertising campaign to help continue its phenomenal growth. The search was on for the right ad agency, and Chicago-based Needham, Harper & Steers was selected. It was creative director Keith Reinhardt, along with jingle writer Sidney Wollishan, and the rest of the creative team that took on the challenge. The first concept about McDonald's being like an island getaway was too close to what another restaurant in the Midwest was doing. So they scrapped that concept and went back to the drawing board. Their next concept was the one, as explained by Reinhardt in an interview with Ad Age. You deserve. Wow, what if we gave permission? A break today. So get up and get away to McDonald's. So I called Sid and I said, I got it. He said, well, okay. Uh, I, he said, tell me what it is. I said, I'll sing it for you. Ba, 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 ba. And so we had eight notes we have to fill. So we're mo moving the word break around there. We got, you deserve a chance today at McDonald's. I said, this is it. Sid says, it's not singable. But Sid, it's got to be singable. If you don't sing it, I'll find somebody else. When the ad was pitched to McDonald's, not everyone liked it. Some thought the ad was a bit corny, to which Ray Kroc responded, there's nothing wrong with a little corn. So, with Kroc providing his approval, it was full speed ahead. Grab a bucket and mop. Scrub the bottom and top. There is nothing so clean as my burger machine. With a broom and a brush, clean it up for the rush. Before you open the door, or to shine on the floor. When we finish one then, start all over again. Tell me 
what does it mean? At McDonald's it's clean. Now, what stands out in this commercial is there are a lot of middle-aged men working at McDonald's. We really don't see that today in any fast food restaurant. We also see there's a lot of focus on keeping the place clean. Kroc was fanatical about cleanliness, and he believed people prefer to dine in a place that's clean and orderly. Next, the number of actors in this commercial that went on to have pretty good careers is pretty amazing. First, there's John Amos, better known as playing the dad in one of the most popular sitcoms of the 1970s. Perhaps more than anything else, Amos will always be associated with the character of James Evans Sr., the husband and father on Good Times. The McDonald's commercial came at a very early time in his career, and up to that point, his only role of note was as Gordy Howard on The Mary Tyler Moore Show. But this was not Amos' first experience with McDonald's. They didn't know at the time that in real life I had worked for McDonald's. When McDonald's first started in Canada, the very first franchise they put up was done by a very entrepreneurial genius, if you would, a George Tidball. He brought, all, he brought the rights to McDonald's for all of Canada. And the first one they erected was in... Um, Vancouver, British Columbia, where I was living at the time, having tried out for my last and final football team, the BC Lions. The other actor we may recognize from this commercial is Anson Williams, but we know him better as... Hi, I'm Potsy, and this is my good buddy, Fonz. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> yes, Potsy from Happy Days was also in the You Deserve a Break Today commercial. Williams gives a little insight into his role in the McDonald's commercial, saying... That was one of the greatest breaks ever. It was the first time I was able to get some money. Through the years, it became this iconic commercial where they would call up, renegotiate, and put it on the air again. Other actors of note included accomplished stage and screen actor John Wheeler as the store manager, who also appeared on shows such as The Brady Bunch, Star Trek, and The Dukes of Hazard. Next is Robert Ridgely, known for Blazing Saddles, Melvin and Howard, and Beverly Hills Cop 2. And lastly, John Hamer, perhaps better known as Sergeant Zale from M.A.S.H. Oh, and one more thing. The person who actually directed the You Deserve a Break Today commercial is Howard Morris, better known as the actor who played Ernest T. Bass on The Andy Griffith Show. Morris would go on to direct other McDonald's commercials as well as feature films such as Who's Mining the Mint and With Six You Get Egg Roll. I remember this commercial when I was a young kid, and doing the research for this brought back a lot of memories for me. My parents used to treat us to McDonald's every Friday evening, and for us, it was a really big deal back then. And for many people, it still is. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more of them, support us by hitting the like and subscribe buttons, and let us know what you think in the comment section. I'm Ernie Martin. Thanks for joining us, and we'll catch you next time on The History of Television Commercials.